Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name's Alicia if you're new here and in today's video, I am so excited. I'm going to be testing out a newer brand to Sephora. I'm talking about Rose Ink. So I've got a few different products from them. I've got the bronzer, I've got a blush, and I also have a highlighter to try. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Now, if you're interested in this eye look, I did do a tutorial with this. It's using an older palette. It's the Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess palette, which I is one of my absolute favorites in my whole entire collection. So I will have that video linked down below in case you're interested. But in today's video, like I said, we are going to be focusing on Rose Ink. So Rose Ink is a vegan, cruelty-free brand. They have recyclable packaging, all clean ingredients, and that's kind of like the overall deal with them. They all have got rose oil and squalene in the products themselves. So it's makeup that you can feel good about putting on your skin with the ingredients that are in there. And you can feel good about using just for the earth because it's very like planet oriented as far as what they're putting in the products and the packaging and everything that it comes in as well. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with the bronzer. Now the bronzer retails for $36. There are four different shades of the bronzer. I have mine in the shade Parrot K. And this is what the packaging looks like here. I do like that all of the packaging on this is very kind of like sleek and minimalistic. Now this one is a little bit odd. I've already like kind of opened this and just looked at it. But as you can tell, this twist completely off and then here is your product there super creamy and this bronzer is supposed to give you kind of like a satiny type of a glow it has tourmaline and quartz in here to give you like a dewiness effect shine but no shimmer and yeah it looks like this is blending out amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and start applying this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a more like dense brush. This is kind of something I would kind of use for foundation, but I'm going to use this to tap this bronzer out. Now with cream bronzers, I don't really like anything that is too intense, honestly, because I don't know. Cream bronzers are user friendly if they are blendable. This has kind of a scent. I don't know how to describe it, but it definitely does have a scent. It's not off putting. It's kind of just like a soft kind of fresh scent. It almost smells a little bit like baby powder ish, which I know is kind of weird. But if you have this, let me know <laughs> if you feel the same way. But this is blending out amazing. As you can tell, I'm just tapping this on. And yeah, I think that that looks really nice just as is. I also like how big this pan size is. You can really get in there with a brush or a sponge. Think of like my Jaclyn Hill one that's a little bit smaller. Um, and sometimes it can just be you know it just makes it slower whenever you're having to apply and make sure you know where your brush is going whereas this you can just go in all right so i'm just putting this all over my forehead making like a little bronzing cap here And I like this product because you don't have to be careful with it. That's the kind of products that I like as far as cream products go are ones that you can just throw on. They just look good. You don't have to like babysit it, stays all day. That's what I'm looking for with a cream. And this so far is giving me that. We'll see how it wears. I definitely will update the description box. So always make sure you're checking the description box guys i have everything linked in every video um and i also will have like final thoughts if if you know i'm not familiar with a formula in general now i've seen a lot of buzz about 
a, um, it's like a tinted moisturizer slash like BB cream type deal from this brand. It, I thought about picking it up. It's just so sheer. It almost just looks like a glowy primer, honestly. So I decided against it because it was like $50 too. But I do like that there are skincare ingredients in these products. Okay, guys, I could just keep going and going because I feel like this is one of those products where you can't overdo it. Like it has, I feel like you can definitely see it, but it also still has a sheerness where it looks just really natural. And that is kind of completely what I'm about these days. So I am digging this bronzer so far, honestly. All right, so this cap did end right where it was supposed to. I was going to say that could be so annoying if when you twisted this on, it didn't like line up perfectly. You know what I mean? So I'm really happy that that went on well. Next up, I'm going to go into the highlighter. Now, the highlighter and the blush both retail for $30. And I have my highlighter in the shade Brilliant. This is also called, this is actually called the Solar Radiance Highlighter hydrating cream highlighter and again it is like semi-circle type deal all right it's got a nice little mirror in there and these are refillable pans in these products now, I'm not sure about the bronzer I think you just have to repurchase that whole bronzer but these have refillable pans in here all right so this is what Actually, I think I put that on top of the bronzer I swatched earlier. Put this right here. Kind of looks like that blended into nothing, but you can definitely still see that shimmer. So I think we're good. Well, I'm going to use this brush here. It's like a slanted little foundation brush. This is from Laura Lee Los Angeles, but I thought that would be like the perfect shape to kind of put this highlighter on. So I'm gonna go right in. You could also use a sponge for these. Whoa. All right, so I picked up a ton of product. <laughs> Let's see if we can blend this out. All right. I'm going to go back in. I love how I don't really see highlighter. It really is just blending in and like melting in with my skin and the rest of the products on my face. And I did powder my face as well, just to mention. I used Laura Mercier all over my face to set. And I'm treating this no different than any other highlighter I would use. I'm putting this everywhere. I would normally put just a powder highlighter. The main thing is instead of like blending, I'm tapping. I think that is definitely the key with creams. Okay. This is definitely not like a beaming highlighter, even though I used quite a bit on this side. Um, it really just blends in with your skin and is more of like that lit from within type of a glow, which I personally like. I know that some people like something a little bit more intense, so definitely just wanted to let you know you are not getting that with this. And then last up is the blush. This is the color Foxglove. And this is just the Blush Divine Radiant Lip and Cheek Color. Now, I'm not going to be using this on my lips today. I actually am filming another video after this. I got two of these Chanel lippies. These are like the little duos with the lip color on one side, the clear gloss on the other. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, I'm going to test this formula because I've seen all kinds of good things about it. But I am going to go ahead and put this on my cheeks. 
All right, and again, it is that same type of packaging as the highlighter. Now, whenever you flip these over, I mean, there are like a big, you know, like little barcode thing with colors on them. So it is easy to tell kind of which one you're grabbing. I do like that about it. And when you open it up, this is the shade that I got here. I just thought it would be so pretty for all year round. I love how creamy all of these products are, honestly. So creamy, so dewy, juicy. It just looks like your cheeks are like plump and juicy with this stuff. And that, liking it. I'm going to go in with the same brush that I used for the bronzer. And I'm going to go in with this blush. I'm going to try to spread the love here. Alright, let's see how long this is blendable because this has been sitting on my cheek for a second. Let's see if we can still blend this out nicely. Oh yeah, it still blended out seamlessly guys. This formula is so easy to use. It's literally, if you're not familiar with creams and you're wanting to dip your toe into the cream formulas, I would recommend this brand, honestly, because I feel like you cannot mess it up. There are a lot of cream formulas out there that are just so intense whenever you put them on that you really have to just sit there and blend and blend and blend and hope that it looks, you know, decent when you're finished. This looks like your skin. It looks like you're not wearing makeup. And I feel like, I just feel good about putting this on my face, honestly, because I know I can feel that there are good ingredients in here. The way that this is just blending on looks so nice. I mean, you guys will have to let me know what you think, but I just like how easy this is to use. All right, I'm going to run this across my nose as well, just to add a little bit of color. All right, any excess, I'm going to bring up to the temples, just like I normally would with a powder. All right, guys, and this, again, it kind of just gives you that, like, out in the sun type of a look, like where you've just been outside and you just look a little sun-kissed. That is what this Fox Glove color is giving me. <sighs> guys, I have not been this impressed with a cream formula. I don't think ever. This, I thought the Vanessa Mirix was really, really good. I think that this is better in terms of just like ease of use. And the colors and the undertones, I think all of it just works. I'm going to do a quick review again really quick. Now, as I mentioned, the blush and the highlighter retail for $30 each. I think that these products would last you quite a while. I mean, it barely looks like we used anything there. The blush comes in six different shades. The highlighter comes in five different shades. And then, as I mentioned, the bronzer that retailed for $36 comes in four different shades. So, if any criticism, that would be it. That there's just, there's not a lot of variety in terms of shade selection. Having said that, though, I think all of these shades were freaking amazing. The blush, again, is in foxglove. The highlighter is in Brilliant, and the bronzer I got is in Parrot K. Super easy to work with. Everything blended seamlessly. If this lasts all day, this may be my new favorite formula for creams, but you will have to let me know what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you if you were thinking about picking anything up from Rose Ink. I would say the products that I used, it's making me want to try more from the brand which I don't need to do because you guys know. If you've seen my collection videos, you know. But 
Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.